Okay, hello everybody. Today I want to go to one of the biggest serial stores for electronic devices in Finland, uh, specifically in Tampere city. This store actually is called Verkapa and they have a really big website and you can order anything you want uh, on most electronic devices and they bring your orders uh, pretty much fast in two or three days. But because I'm more fan of buying things physically, I rather go to these shopping centers and these stores in person and buy things. And also uh, because I'm running out of time, I want to buy a modem for my internet, so I uh, want to buy it today. So uh, I would prefer to go there by myself. It's a good opportunity and a good chance to show you around and also for you to get to know the city, Tampere city better. Uh, so keep watching this place, it's going to be fun. Okay, the river you see behind me, they call it Tamarkowski actually, it divides the city into two sections, left and right. And it comes from the north of the Tampere and goes from uh, the south of the Tampere. Okay, now I'm in the bus and we're heading to the south of the Tampere actually it's not far that much but it could take about 20 minutes or uh, 15 minutes I think to get there but it's going to be fun and I try to show you around I'd like to say that the transportation system in Tampere or in Finland actually is really great and basically you can go anywhere you want with bus. Some people think that uh, Finland is not beautiful that much, it's always cold, it's always dark, but that's not true actually. Um, as an immigrant who comes from a Middle East country, it's actually really beautiful around here, especially in summer and in spring and as you can see uh, everything's green around here okay I think I need to press this button here yeah it seems that nobody wants to go to these shopping centers Okay, I need to walk a little bit to get there actually and what I want to say that uh, you know there are all sorts of shopping centers here and actually uh, what I want to say um, is that based on the population of Finland which is actually around five or six million I think and it's in comparison to Asian countries and Middle East countries like here and it's nothing but uh, what I what I've been amazed always by is actually that the number of shopping centers in Finland is so high in comparison to the population and that's amazing and you can find all sorts of uh, stores around the city as well it's not only at the city center and that's a good point one of the biggest stores we see in Finland is Prisma and basically it has everything you want from food 
two electronic devices, two uh, clothes, shoes, everything. But today I just want to go to Verocapa, probably in another video. Uh, I will try to show you Prisma as well. Hooray! Look at this. We eventually got to the Verocapa stores. And look at the banner. It, it says verocapa.com. And actually, they first created the website and then they open the physical stores okay let's go inside to see what's going on You can pretty much find anything you want here from electronic devices, uh, PC, uh, computer devices, to kitchen devices, anything, anything related to electronics. Okay, first thing first, let's look at the PCs and laptops they have here. I, it's basically HP, I think, but they have other sorts of other models of laptops you can look at the prices I just want to show you around want to keep the length of the video short so I'm not gonna go into the details just show you around and see what it has in general okay here is the section for SSD you can see the price starts from 64 goes up to maybe 150 but it's pretty much around 70 80 what else here they have it's external DVD how much is it is 36 euros external slim DVD ROM what else some lamps okay here what we have amazing I think it's it should be graphic cards no actually it's motherboard so Asus The price starts from 151, goes up to maybe 300. Some speakers here. So, some equipment here as well. Some cameras. Logitech. I think it's a famous brand around here all sorts of keyboards price starts from 39 oh even from 19 it's strange it goes up to 100 120 something like that beautiful keyboards mouse here spell so look at these printers Okay, let's look at their monitors as well. What is the brand? It's Samsung. So it basically starts from 200. I've never understood why they put the price like this. 199.90 cents. It, it, it doesn't make sense actually because eventually I round it up to 200. I see no point in this 
pricing. Okay, anyway. What this model is? AOC? I don't... I've never heard of that before. Also, uh, we have Aces here. Look at these quadrators. At some point, maybe for my YouTube channel, I will buy something like this, but it's too soon to pay, you know, 400. The minimum price is 400 euros, and the maximum one is 2000. I'm not sure even we can use this for filming or I think no actually we can it has everything you want but I'm not sure it, there, there is a 4k camera in there I think I'm not sure they sell it with the camera or without it The very first thing I will do when I reach to a, a minimum subscribers and to a point that I feel that it, it, it's good to buy a new camera, a high quality camera, probably the very first thing I need to do come here and buy one of these babies. Uh, Canon probably. Okay, eventually I got to the section I want, to the modem and rotors section. It's pretty awesome. I want to buy one of these VDSLs actually. I wanted to connect it to uh, DSL line. So there are basically two uh, different monitors that I'd like to buy. And one of them is uh, I think VR300. Actually it's from TP-Link. Both, both the models are from TP-Link. The first one is around 55 euros and the second one is around uh, 100 euros. Uh, I'm not sure what is the difference here, but let's look at the models. Okay, this is the first one. VR 300 and the other one is VR 600. To be honest, I'm not sure why I should buy this instead of buying this cheaper one okay eventually I decided to buy this model the cheaper model and actually the customer service told me that uh, basically the difference was uh, in, in the broadband speed as I told you but the problem is that in Finland uh, with DS with this line there is no more than 100 megabits internet so uh, basically if you want to use this for this line uh, it doesn't make sense to buy the expensive one because it supports up to two uh, us to 350 megabits per second which uh, which is not used here and basically if you want to have more than 100 megabits internet in Finland you need to order it with your phone or uh, with actually uh, with a cable network connection something uh, it's something different you need to you need to buy a rotor actually but I think it's fine okay let's buy it okay that was it my journey to Vero Kappa. I hope you enjoyed it uh, have a good day bye bye